Welcome to Smart Pizza. In this episode, you'll learn 100 interesting facts about animals. Sometimes the world around us brings us unexpected surprises. This cat froze in surprise, looking at a mysterious object beneath her. She simply doesn't understand what's happening. Her reaction speaks for itself. It's interesting to consider if she realizes that it's an optical illusion. Write your opinion in the comments. Electric Eel Each of you has definitely heard about the electric eels, but something tells me that you don't even have a notion of how they live, what they do, what they eat, how they hunt, and why it's really worth avoiding them. I suggest that we set the record straight and start from the most interesting thing. It was given this name without a reason. The thing is that it generates a lot of current. For example, an adult specimen, about 10 feet long and weighing some 44 pounds, can generate a discharge with a voltage of more than 500 volts. This way, the eel will deafen its opposer and calmly, without any hassle, swallow it. If you find it difficult to imagine how much it is, I'll tell you one thing. It's enough to mow down all the fish around in a radius of almost 20 feet from the eel. Even a giant horse won't overpower this energy. This is exactly why the adult eels have almost no enemies. Yes, of course, some animals continue hunting them, hoping to be lucky. Anyway, now you understand what chances they have. Even this crocodile, trying to remain unnoticed, will get a discharge in a second and either check out or escape with the strongest fright and receive a lesson for the rest of its life. But why is the eel so powerful? What is responsible for the current generation? In reality, the eel has three corresponding organs. One of them is needed for communication with its brethren and navigation. The other two are able to generate electricity of high power that the fish uses to attack. It's interesting that the eel can change the frequency of impulse release the frequency and their strength. If it's about an attack, it'll hit to the fullest. If an eel is exploring the surroundings, these light and short impacts will be enough. By the way, we gradually approached another feature of this creature. It has a good spatial awareness with the help of the same electricity. It's surprising, isn't it? On the other hand, what else do you want from the creature that spends almost all its time in the turbid waters? It wouldn't merely survive without such super abilities. This way the eel calmly moves around, isn't afraid of anybody, and can communicate with his brethren when it's bored. If the eel joins a battle with somebody, it attacks first. It has no defense. If a crocodile assaults an eel, the eel will only be able to respond by the strongest discharge. Anyway, this electro from the animal world won't improve its health. Both will be sent to their glory. Spitting Cobra I remember I used to like spending time playing computer games and adored shooting, but the cheaters irritated me, especially those who played with banned programs and could shoot farther and more precisely than all the rest. As you understand, I touched upon this subject not without a reason. I associate the spitting cobra we're going to talk about next exactly with the cheaters. What are we used to? You're right, snakes are snakes. They creep, disguise, hide in the bushes, or climb the trees to have a better view. At last, they make a jerk in the direction of the opponent, suffocating it or injecting poison in the victim's body. Everything seems to be logical. Anyway, the spitting cobra doesn't care about these rules. These crawlers, in some miraculous way, learn to apply their toxins at a distance without a direct contact with its opponent. This way, they can make up to 30 shots, with each of them releasing about 4 milligrams of poison. Consequently, reddening, Acute pain, temporal or even permanent blindness occur, and naturally death. It's not likely that somebody, even the most cunning creature in the world, will be able to dodge such a number of gears. To make matters worse, even if they do that, these spitting cobras will still be able to bite their enemy, what they almost always do. This is the way how they finish off their opponent. The secret of these crawlers lies in their morphology. The reptile has its venomous gland in the neck. The poison goes out through the round holes in their teeth. It's not unusual and typical for all the snakes. What differs our heroine is the pumped neck. While contracting, special muscles press the channels of the venomous gland and the poison releases. 
Along with this, the tooth holes look another way, not down, but forward. That's why the volley is directed right in the opposer's face, not leaving any chance for rescue. It's a good piece of news that the snake mostly uses this cheat as a defense and don't show any aggression against humans without reasonable frames. And still, while walking along the forest in Africa or South Asia, be extremely careful. Spitting cobras can be not so far away. But if that happens, just stand, don't move, and pray to the superior. In other words, peregrine falcon. After all, this raptorial bird easily leaves its enemies headless at the speed of 250 miles an hour. Just a sight of this self-confident falcon causes uncontrolled endorphins to burst in everybody around and people as well. At the same time, the bird doesn't stand for its dimensions. They're almost the same as an ordinary crow has. You can meet it everywhere possible with the exception of Antarctica and the Arctic. The peregrine falcon is too lazy to live there. It's not a noble work to fly back and forth. It's another thing to hunt in the same point all around the year, choosing what you'll eat for dinner or supper this time. Basically, the peregrine falcon feeds on other feathered creatures, catching them right in the flight. At the same time, there are exceptions from the rules where the bird wants something exotic. Those are both snakes and insects with frogs that can become a part of their menu. If you think that the smaller creatures have all chances to escape, I'll remind you of the speed at which the falcon swoops down on the prey, 250 miles per hour. Any other bird would go inside out because of such a pressure, whereas this one copes with it. After all, evolution equipped them with bone nodes near the nostrils. The eye's safety is guaranteed by the third lid. Such hunting style is extremely effective and comfortable. After all, no battles needed. You're in the bird's mouth before you know it. But if something goes wrong and the victim is still breathing after this attack, the peregrine falcon will be glad to finish it off with his powerful claws. However the peregrine falcon tries, it won't overpower our next guest concerning the power of the blow. The Japanese mantis shrimp. It isn't just a beautiful and colorful crustacean. Its limbs cover a monstrous power many power lifters have never dreamt of. So we start with the fact that this shrimp is exactly not a mantis, despite its name. We can see a big mantis shrimp inhabiting the bottom of the Indo-Pacific region from Guam to Africa. The species we consider is one of the biggest and most colorful mantis shrimps. Their size varies from 1.2 inches to 7 inches. They also have a different coloration and live up to 20 years. It's difficult to imagine how many victims it manages to send to glory at a precise blow. You won't believe it, but this creature is capable of chopping a motorboat screw. This phenomenon has an explanation. If you take a closer look at its legs, they look quite like usual ones, except that its forelimbs end with hammers instead of blades. No, it'd be better to call them Thor's hammers. They hit at a strength of 330 pounds, which exceeds the animal's weight about 2,500 times. You can think, the animal is strong enough, maybe it comes short of speed, and you won't hit the target again. It delivers a knockdown blow instantaneously. The peak acceleration speed is equal to 64 miles in 2.7 milliseconds. It's one of the highest, if not the highest speed of attack among living creatures. This lightning quick speed, even the water can boil. Do you imagine to which extent the strong creature is unique in its own kind? And more, it's quite possible that the arthropod uses its ability to boil water the way we do when cooking a meal. Scientists consider that this monster warms the water up to thermally process the food before eating. The researchers have been puzzled by its technical secret for a long time. They say that even the most experienced warriors visited this mantis shrimp to ask for advice. It turned out that the mystery lay in the snapping method. It's all about the fact that the creature's arms don't move before they're strong enough, and later they act like a trigger. They contract and descend on the enemies with all their might. What's more, their legs remain safe and sound due to special mineralized cover given by the nature. Common Basilisk this is how an ancient lizard species, from the basilisks, they can run on water without any relation to deities or secret magic. Here you'll think, author, you're caught. 
We have known about such creatures for a long time. For example, those are water striders that can run on water, not worse than this semi-lizard. But I tell you that these striders weigh as much as a needle, whereas the lizards, mildly speaking, are bigger. They rush along the water surface, similar to tiny dinosaurs on their hind legs, and develop a speed of up to 6.6 .6 feet per second. In addition to that, their toes are quite long. They function like short flappers in the water. So, a lizard, in essence, moves on water in a series of short, powerful strokes, quickly pushing off the surface, not letting itself be drowned. But if you've ever gone swimming, you know that the body starts swinging a lot, so it's extremely important to keep balance. The common basilisk has learned to do that perfectly. Just have a look at how it moves from side to side to stand and not fall into the water. In addition, during each step, the lizard grasps a small bubble of air with its long toes of the hind legs that lets minimize the water contact. The basilisk removes its leg before the bubble implodes. In reality, the lizards are one of the most surprising creatures on our planet. We've just had a creature that can run on water, and now we turn to the reptile able to shoot with its eyes. This reptile usually grows as long as 3.9 inches. It can seem that it constantly falls someone's victim. This is a small lizard that can make up a solid meal. Everything seems to match. But Mother Nature says nothing of this kind. The horned lizards have a specific feature. They shoot with their blood right from their eyes. The attack with their own blood seems to be a strange thing. It's so strange that your enemy can trivially go crazy from the very fact of it and voluntarily retreat. Such an original shooting is provided due to blocking a head bloodstream. The eye pressure goes so high that the capillaries explode, pouring an enemy with a dense blood jet. Apart from that, the blood has an irritating effect because the lizard eats ants or other small creatures in its free time. As a result, the lizard's offender doesn't frighten itself but leaves the battlefield with a mucous membrane irritation like from a pepper spray. So, if you visit America one day and find yourself in wild nature, keep in mind that such things can also happen there. That's why, if you see lizards, don't linger and go away from them as far as possible, some 16 feet or more. Immortal Jellyfish This unique jellyfish doesn't care about all those basilisks, falcons, or horned lizards. It was first discovered in the Mediterranean Sea but its aerial is considered to extend much wider than we can think. These creatures reproduce themselves sexually and reach puberty already at the age of two weeks. Their body, looking like a bell, is transparent, and you can see a digestive system inside. But, as you understand, it isn't the most important thing. The point is that they can stop their life cycle and reverse it. In other words, an adult jellyfish turns into a polyp and repeatedly goes through all the stages. It's necessary for them to survive in difficult sea conditions, for example, if they're wounded. After performing this trick, the immortal jellyfish can solve problems they had before and continue prowling the oceans. Except it's not worth thinking that there are millions of them around the world, it's not the case. The word immortal relates to the jellyfish that can reverse the time. However, if they're attacked, or what's even worse, about to eat, needless to say, that won't be able to survive. However, scientists continue studying the unusual organism. I should think so. Do you realize what it's capable of? Imagine how easier people's lives will be if we manage to reverse time, heal our own wounds, and cure diseases in such a way. But why reverse time if we can just learn to not get older? Mother Nature thought and created Axolotl. The point is that it reaches puberty and gets ready to give offspring without a transformation into an adult form. In other words, avoiding metamorphosis. This little creature looks like you'd need to guard it or even hold it at home. In reality, an axolotl is a real predator. Its mouth teems with sharp teeth, ideal tool to catch snails, worms, and small fish. These amphibians seriously gain activity when it's about to rain. The ancestor's memory lets them know that with the celestial humidity, there will be more tasty insects on the water surface. These beauties, together with the immortal jellyfish, are surveyed by scientists. People try to solve this natural mystery. After all, if they manage to do this, it will be a real breakthrough set to change the future.
For now, people just get them as pets and try to vigorously look after them. This is the case when a smaller creature requires much more attention and care. A trivial example, if you place an axolotl into a drier and cooler environment, lower the water level, it'll turn into an adult salamander. This will change its appearance and coloration and remove gills. It's strictly prohibited to do that without specialists. After all, at that rate, this wonderful creature runs a high risk of death. Bulls are strong animals in general. It's as if they were specially created by nature to demonstrate their strength and use it for useful purposes. But there are some particularly strong creatures among them. One of them was the now deceased bull named Bodacious. This giant, weighing 1,900 pounds, was a rodeo star in the 1990s. He participated in many competitions and threw off even the most experienced riders and cowboys of the planet. No matter how hard they tried to hold on, Bodacious would twitch, jump, gallop, and eventually get the upper hand. Often, all this ended in injuries for riders. For this, Bodacious was called the strongest and most dangerous bull on the planet, as well as the greatest bull that's ever been saddled. Okay, everything is clear with rodeo, but what about ordinary bulls? Well, here we should definitely single out the Belgian blue bulls. You can't really call them ordinary, and you can tell that just by looking at them. They're one of the strongest bulls on the planet right now, and unambiguous leaders in terms of muscles. This incredible physique is the result of mutation. Belgian blue bulls were specially bred to be so powerful and huge. And to do this, scientists have altered myostatin in their bodies. This protein prevents muscle growth, but in Belgian blue bulls it doesn't work so they can grow to incredible size. They don't show their strength to everyone. Muscles, in this case, are of practical importance for people, not for bulls. More lean meat and milk can be obtained from these creatures than from ordinary bulls. As for the non-mutant bulls, many people are sure that the Chianina bull from Italy should be called the strongest. Among the bulls of this breed, you can find many phenomenal giants, which are as tall as an adult human, weighing as much as a ton or even more. With such size, Chianina bulls are capable of performing almost any task in agriculture. Today, Chianina bulls and cows are used as a meat breed and are also shown at various exhibitions. It's time to move on to other strong animals. Let's start with the elephant. Being the largest land mammal, the elephant simply can't help but be strong. When you weigh 5 to 6 tons, your body length reaches 20 to 23 feet and your height reaches 10 to 13 feet, you will be very powerful by default. Here, take a look. For example, how an elephant cracks walnuts. It only pin them down a little and instantly crush them. I would even say it smudged them. And now, remember how hard it is for us to crack walnuts and realize the power of the elephant. Nuts are nothing to such a big creature because it can even fell trees and uproot them in a fit of rage. In just a minute, the giant can fell a large tree. Elephants, by the way, have a special relationship with trees. For example, Indian elephants are often used in agriculture where they drag heavy logs and help builders and farmers. It's an easy job for the elephant. But still, not all elephants work with people. They generally don't like people and other outsiders very much, and on occasion they can take it out on them. Basically, cars get it. Elephants can throw, break, turn over, and destroy them literally to the ground, as if they were some kind of toys. It's not surprising that an adult elephant has no natural enemies. Only occasionally can predators try to attack elephants. For example, lions can defeat an elephant in a large group, but only occasionally. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, no one will do anything to an elephant. It's too strong and big. Big cats are strong creatures, but perhaps the tiger is a little stronger than all of them. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, the tiger is the largest representative of the feline family, not counting hybrid animals. And secondly, this big cat is a loner. It's more difficult to hunt alone than in a group. So, for example, the lion is weaker than the tiger. It's used to relying on its congeners. In the process of evolution, tigers have honed their hunting skills alone and have become incredibly strong. These creatures have very powerful jaws. Just look at the way these cats jump. With one leap, they can fly 10 to 13 feet high from a place. 
and it looks very cool. At the same time, tigers are excellent jumpers, even with additional weight. It's believed that the tiger can jump over an obstacle of six and a half feet high, holding a 110-pound prey in its teeth. As for the paws themselves, they're also very large. Look how much smaller a human hand is than a tiger's paw. One precise blow with such a paw will knock out anyone or even kill them instantly. The tiger also has very long and sharp claws and equally sharp teeth. The force of the tiger's bite reaches almost 7,000 newtons. That's even more than that of Nile crocodiles from Africa. Add the incredible camouflage, the silent stealth mode when hunting, and the phenomenal speed of these cats to it, and you'll have a truly powerful predator. I would even call it the perfect predator. Orca This predator is also perfect. While the tiger is dealing with prey on land, orcas, also known as killer whales, work in the seas and oceans and keep literally all sea creatures at bay. They're one of the largest modern marine predators. They grow up to 33 feet in length and weigh about 8 tons. Perhaps only the sperm whale is ahead of the orca in terms of size among all predators of the world ocean. Orcas are not only large and strong but also agile. Besides, they're very intelligent. All these factors combined make them extremely dangerous. Seals are more afraid of killer whales than anyone else. This is the main prey of orcas. A killer whale can easily deal with a seal alone. In this case, it can do it very brutally. For example, toss that prey into the air at first. Just imagine what kind of power you need to have to do something like that. But more often, orcas hunt seals in groups. They notice a seal on an ice floe, gather a group and move towards the ice floe. Orcas hit it, making powerful waves. As a rule, a seal is simply thrown into the water where it has no chance to be rescued. But sometimes orcas act so strong that they even split ice floes and seals fall through and chew them. Let alone seals, orcas are not afraid to fight even with predatory sharks. They neutralize the queen of sharks, the great white shark, in just seconds. Being an orca is like playing on a beginner's level in a video game you already know all the way through. My point is that one shark is nothing to an orca. One orca can stand up to even a small shiver of sharks and still come out victorious. The orca is definitely the strongest and most dangerous predator of the world ocean for marine creatures. What's most surprising is that for all their power, predatory nature, and size, orcas never attack humans at sea. They may chase a boat or ram a yacht, they may attack humans in captivity, but in the wild, in the ocean itself, they're not dangerous to humans. These black and white giants treat divers and swimmers gently and even often swim with them. You can't swim with sharks like that. Grizzly I think no one would argue that bears are very strong animals. Among them, grizzly and polar bears stand out, and I would like to talk about grizzly bears. Plus, scientists have done a study and found out that the grizzly bear is stronger than the polar bear in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Yes, the grizzly may be smaller than the polar bear, but it's much faster and more agile than the polar bear. It is the fastest bear on the planet and can even run as fast as a car. The grizzly also has huge, six-inch long claws, and its bite force is so powerful that the grizzly could chew even a bowling ball in half with its teeth. But the main feature of the grizzly is aggression. These bears often have fierce battles with each other and mercilessly massacre their prey. Grizzlies also sometimes attack and chase people. The people of North America have long been very afraid of grizzlies and exterminated these strong and dangerous animals. As a result, by 1922, the California grizzly bear subspecies was completely wiped out. There are plenty of strong creatures not only on land and underwater but also in the sky. Which one do you think is the strongest of them all? If you're thinking of some eagle, you're right. But there are many eagles. Which one is the strongest? Scientists believe that this title should be given to the South American harpy eagle, and it makes sense. Firstly, it's the largest eagle in the world in terms of weight. Females are larger than males and can weigh up to 20 pounds. That's very hefty for a modern bird of prey. Secondly, harpy eagles are characterized by incredible strength and interesting hunting methods. These birds feed mainly on large prey, for example, monkeys and sloths. As a rule, a harpy eagle stalks a target, smoothly flies up to it, grabs it right off from a tree, 
and carries it in its paws to a nest or other place. It takes a lot of strength to pull this off. Often the prey flies, still alive, and tries to escape. But the harpy eagle's grip is very strong, so the hunt usually goes smoothly. The harpy eagle may eat the prey itself or share it with its chicks. The powerful eagle can then take a break from hunting for a couple of weeks without any harm to itself. Let's look at the smallest animals in the world. Brachysia nana Giant anacondas, Komodo dragons, and saltwater crocodiles are all truly enormous reptiles. In fact, they're so big that they wouldn't even notice if Brachysia nana, their antipode relative, got into their mouths. For that matter, this creature is difficult to notice in general because the species of chameleon is less than 1.1 inches in length. Scientists call this endemic of Madagascar the smallest reptile species in the world. By the way, this species is very new. It was discovered in 2021. At first, scientists couldn't even believe their eyes. They were so amazed by the tiny size that they doubted the maturity of the individuals found. Only a microcomputer tomography of the chameleons cleared up their doubts and presented the world with a truly unique animal. Antelopes and chameleons are cool, of course, but what about more familiar animals? For example, dogs. I don't think it's secret that the Chihuahua breed is very small. Such dogs can even be carried in purses. But even among such tiny ones, there are record breakers of their own. This is Miracle Millie, a Chihuahua from Puerto Rico who got into the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's smallest dog. She's 3.8 inches tall and weighs about 0.8 pounds. In the pictures, you can see how tiny the dog is. Even things like a sneaker, a ball, or a bottle seem big compared to her. And this is a full-grown adult. Her owner, Vanessa, says when Millie was just born, she could fit in a teaspoon and she had to be fed from a pipette. Because of her size, she couldn't eat the usual way herself. Vanessa is very fond of Millie and often takes pictures of her but she admits that there are disadvantages to such a record breaker. Vanessa has to watch her feet all the time in order to not literally crush her pet, and on walks, Millie often gets lost, even in low grass. Western Pygmy Marmoset Let's return to the more exotic specimens. High up in the foliage of the tropical forests of South America, a tiny monkey lives. It hides inconspicuously behind tree trunks and branches like a chameleon and jumps like a squirrel. This is the Western Pygmy Marmoset, and it's the smallest monkey in the world. It's important to note that this is not the smallest primate. This title belongs to the mouse lemurs from Madagascar. The Western Pygmy Marmoset weighs just over 0.2 pounds and grows to about 6 inches in length. Huge gorillas and chimpanzees would have laughed at their <laughs> tiny relative since the Western Pygmy Marmoset can easily fit in the hand of an adult. By the way, the monkey has a very long tail. As a rule, it's longer than its body. It's not tenacious, but helps the little monkey to keep its balance when it jumps through trees in search of food, plants, fruit, and insects. In zoos, western pygmy marmosets also eat worms. Speaking of worms, take a look at this. It looks like an ordinary worm. That's good for fishing, doesn't it? But in fact, it's not a worm. It's a snake. Yeah, it's the Barbados thread snake from the island of Barbados. This species is less than 3.9 inches long, so it's not surprising that the snake has the appearance of a worm, but it's not a dangerous snake. However, it is dangerous only for its prey, termites and ant larvae. For humans, the snake is not dangerous. At most, the Barbados thread snake will pose for the camera lying on a coin. By the way, these reptiles have one more interesting feature apart from length. Because of the miniature size, the female lays only one egg, but a large one. The length of the hatchling is 1.9 inches, which is half the length of the mother. But for snakes of this size, this is normal. It's the law of nature. The smaller the snake, the larger the offspring. This strategy allows the babies to come into the world as prepared for life as possible. Scientists believe that if their body length were shorter, they simply wouldn't be able to find food of a suitable size. And finally, I'll talk a little bit about the animal you've probably been waiting for. It's the bee hummingbird, the smallest bird on the planet. I'm sure everybody knows about it, but as a rule, Many people's knowledge about hummingbirds is limited to the fact, but there are many interesting things to tell about the bee hummingbird. For example, they weigh only 0.07 ounces and are only 1.9 to 2.3 inches in length. Also, these birds have a frantic heart rhythm. The bee hummingbird's heart beats up to 500 times per minute. Not only is their heart fast, but also their wings. The bird flaps its wings more than 90 times a second. It's per second, not minute. I didn't miss it. 
It has to flap its wings so quickly to hover over the flowers and drink the nectar. By the way, the bee hummingbird consumes about 0.07 to 0.08 ounces of nectar per day, which means that the bird eats as much as it weighs itself. Another interesting fact about hummingbirds is the ability to fly backwards. This is the only bird in the world which can do so. And the final fact about hummingbirds that many people don't know, these tiny beauties live only in Cuba. Next, you'll see animals reacting to juggling. Stay tuned. Are you a wizard? Baboons are quite intelligent creatures, which at the same time are never stingy with emotions. Aren't they ideal candidates for the role of the animals that should be shown tricks? That's why the man in the video decided to show the primate his signature trick with the disappearance of the card. He came closer, attracted its attention, and made it follow the card. But not even a few seconds later, the card vaporized right in front of its eyes. It didn't take long for the animal to react oh in delight. With its mouth open, the monkey watched the magic trick of the man, who again amazed it when the card was again in his hands. I think that such reactions of monkeys serve as indirect evidence of their kinship with us. <laughs> Made it laugh. If after the previous video you also wanted to surprise the monkeys that can be found in zoos, then take a look at the following trick. It doesn't require any sleight of hand at all. This is where the gullibility of the primate will play a major role. You take a glass and put inside it any object. Show it to the monkey, then cover the whole thing with a lid and shake. Pretend as if there's magic. At the same time, lower the glass between your legs and throw the object. Don't worry, the monkey doesn't even think that you can trick it. And sure, the object is still inside. And when you show it that there's nothing there, it's bound to react very strongly. I wonder what made the monkey laugh so hard. Was it the trick or maybe the fact that the man was trying to surprise it in such a primitive way? What do you think? Did you see that? You know, I look at these videos featuring monkeys, how they're shown all kinds of tricks, and I realize that primates are probably the best spectators in the world. They never think about anything else. All their attention is focused solely on what's going on. And in the case of humans, on the tricks they're watching and their reactions are very natural and sincere. This monkey, for example, didn't know what to do at all. It probably had the feeling that there was a real magician standing in front of it, the greatest wizard. Tell him something wrong and he'll turn you into a frog, for example. What did you do? Of course, your faithful viewers can be not only primates but also cute furry cats. Sometimes our pets behave like the most naive creatures in the world, which are very easy to surprise. For example, the owner of the cat from this video clip threw a toy snowman on the ceiling, which amazed the pet to the core. Until the last moment, the cat was puzzled. How could the snowman hang on the ceiling? Is it endowed with superpowers? Or was it its owner who bewitched it? I think after such tricks, the cat will always go to pee strictly to the cat litter box and will never scratch a single piece of furniture. An impressionable bulldog. The man's four-legged friends did not stay away either. The bulldog's owner decided to show it a trick he'd been preparing for several days. He took a softball in one hand and pretended to leave it there, but he actually put it in the other hand. The bulldog was so surprised by this that it immediately looked into the camera. Maybe someone among the viewers can explain to it what the hell's going on. I think the guy could have done the trick even more effectively if he had carefully removed the ball from the second hand. Too cute for this game. The author of the following video is a real lucky guy, at least because he's the owner of this insanely cute dog. In addition to cuteness, it stands out for its smartness along with its calmness. However, the tricks of the owner remain the only aspect that the four-legged one still does not understand. Let alone the dog, even I've rewatched this moment many times and still haven't figured out where the goodie's gone. If anyone's more attentive than me, be sure to give me a clue in the comments. Actually, the whole charm of the video is not even about the guy's sleight of hand, it's about the way the dog looked at him in amazement. It was admiring the man so nicely and waiting for some kind of reaction in return. At some point, it put its paw on his hand, not realizing what was going on here at all. And of course, 
in the end it got a yummy treat for its sweet face. Some people need to have an expensive car, a big house, live somewhere on the seashore and so on to be happy. At the same time, otters, for example, just need to be in the company of their best human friend and watch his funny tricks. The man first surprised the otters with a trick with a red handkerchief, which he hid in a fake finger. After that, the man decided to amaze the animals even more and took out a second finger, put it on his left hand and turned on the glow effect, which was transferred from one toy to another. The otters didn't realize that it was all fake. They thought that their owner was a wizard and the main magician of mankind. The pupil has surpassed the master. That's exactly what you can safely say after watching the following video. It all started with a man showing his kitty a trick with a coin. Its essence was very simple and clear. You put a coin on the top of your hand and then quickly move it down and cover it. From the outside, it looks quite simple and clear, but the cat still needed to watch the trick from the side one more time. But after that, it repeated it confidently. Even more confidently and deftly than the owner, I think. Do you think the pupil surpassed the master? Let me know in the comments. Outplayed You know those performers who stand somewhere on the key and charge people money for tricks that fool them? For example, they offer to watch the movement of cups, one of which has a ball inside. Because of their sleight of hand, it's almost impossible to understand where exactly the ball is. It's better not to expect victory, unless you have a faithful assistant dog beside you. The girl in the video decided to test the abilities of her favorite pet and took five identical lids for this purpose. Under one of them, she put a tasty treat and began to stir it all actively so that it was simply unreal to guess where exactly the tasty treat was. Even the girl herself was confused at some point. But don't worry, the dog will always find what's in front of its nose. A dog's wet and mobile nose is several thousand times more sensitive than a human's. Scientists have proven that dogs can smell one molecule of a fragrant substance per liter of air, as well as smell one molecule of aromatic substance in a milliliter of water. These animals perceive a huge number of odors, and they do it not simultaneously but alternately because of which it's impossible to deceive them in this way. An important bonus here is that dogs can also remember odors and associate them with scents in their past. I don't believe you. Yes, you do. Do you remember the many times today when I referred to dogs as man's best friend? Some of you must have thought at those moments, why only dogs? Cats are also happy to help us too. Are you sure? Let's take a look at a video experiment. A man and the author of the video decided to check how his pets would behave if an accident happened to him. To do this, he faked his death, and quite effectively at that, and set the camera right in front of him. At first, the cat, seeing the owner lying motionless, set a perplexed meow and then approached the man and began to sniff him, occasionally touching and meowing. Then the animal laid down next to the owner and stared at the camera, as if figuring out the plan. Experts assure that it's impossible to deceive really an animal by simply pretending to be dead. Any animal will undoubtedly be attracted by the fact that the human is stretched out on the floor and does nothing. Then the cats, sniffing the person out of curiosity, realize that the body is warm, that the person is breathing, which means that nothing terrible has happened. Most likely, the pet will decide that the person is just tired and lay down to rest, just in a slightly odd pose, performing an incredible show of pretending to be dead. In short, the test experiment failed. I certainly didn't expect the ducks to be keen on the various tricks of humans either. In this video, a man decided to bring the yo-yo back into fashion. He took a look at the cute ducks that were doing their best to keep up with the fast-moving toy. The way they were diligently watching it was just something to behold. At one point, I was even a little scared for their necks, but thankfully, it was all over and no one was hurt. The man just found his best spectators, ready to check out his skills at any time of the day and night. And what I'm ready to check out 24-7 is new horror movies. If the movie's good, my face is just like that of the dog. I even wondered what it was watching on TV that scared it so much. It's likely that the dog saw its clone there, only much bigger and scarier. 
Just like the owner of these cats put on a mask of their congener and went to cause a stir, it didn't take long for the furballs to react. They immediately ran away from the giant cat. After all, who knows what it had in mind? However, the second cat decided to make sure of everything personally a little later. It believed in itself and its powers, but it changed its mind very soon. The Main Dancers Dancing is something that many people can't do without. Life feels completely different when you're in a pleasant atmosphere and listening to your favorite track. And it's even cooler when you can dance to it. It's a great thing. It turns out that not only people know these amazing feelings, parrots also enjoy listening to music. And they dance as well as people. I mean it. At the same time, the birds flap their wings and nod their heads, not mechanically, but to the beat of the music. At least, that's what biologists from all over the world say. Scientists are sure that, like all humans and songbirds, parrots have a gene that's activated when a beautiful sound begins to play. Along with this gene and the fact that parrots are happy creatures, it's safe to say that they love music. In fact, they really like to sing and dance. They're able to move to the beat and do it perfectly accurately, but only on the condition that they like the music. In short, I'd rather not play games with parrots or play them some lame tracks, and I also don't advise messing with dogs like the author of the following video did. In it, a man shows his four-legged friend his portion, a big burger, and then his, a small one, and a marmalade one at that. The dog was clearly very upset about this. The instantaneous grin on its face doesn't make you doubt it. Thanks, I'm full. The essence of this trick is very simple. People put a full bowl of tasty food in front of the animals, and when their friend took the tasty food in its mouth, they took out a soft toy and imitated that it was eating it too. But very soon, the soft toy was getting uncomfortable and it fell on its side, obviously not from good feelings. Surprisingly, all the dogs immediately spat out the food and didn't take any risks. Enough of these tricks. Let's get to the action and take a look at some crazy animal moments caught on camera on safari. Lion These tourists encountered a lone lion in the middle of nowhere. They were all alone and there was no one to help them. The lion gradually approached the car and growled menacingly. It seemed to be in a bad mood and could attack at any second. But the tourists were lucky. The lion walked past them. However, this is not always the case. Visitors to the safari park experience the full power of the lion. The lion approached their car and at first began to lick it. That's what it does with its prey, stripping off the skin, fur, and separating meat from bone with its rough tongue. Soon, its congener joined it and showed that lions need to act tougher with tourists. It started biting the mirror. After showing a master class, it left, and its congener tried to bite the hood and body of the car. In this story, only the car was damaged and that's good. The main thing in such a situation is not to twitch. Do not open the windows and door and do not provoke lions. Sooner or later, they'll get tired of the car and they'll leave. The man behind the camera demonstrated how not to behave on safari. I understand the temptation was great, but he still stretched out his hand and touched the king of the jungle. The other one didn't close the window, but just filmed everything. The lion got angry, turned around and roared at the tourist, scaring him. Luckily, it didn't attack. It's okay when it's like that, but sometimes lions don't just stand near the car on safari, they jump on it. As with this lioness did, it climbed up on the hood and lay down. Now tourists will have to wait. You can't go far with such a passenger. In general, many big cats love cars. And as it turns out, the biggest fans of cars on safari are cheetahs. Look how this cat climbed into the back seat and is literally breathing down the guy's back. It was a very tense moment. And here's another cheetah. It encountered tourists on safari and got into their car. Cat got in the back seat and started exploring the vehicle. It couldn't sit still, so it climbed onto the hood and then onto the roof. And here, several cheetahs literally took over the SUV. They'd taken their places and were clearly not going anywhere. Although all these moments look tense and tourists are not very comfortable, don't worry, cheetahs do not attack people. They're quite fearful, docile, and curious. 
so they just like to make new friends on safari. For example, this cheetah climbed on a rooftop and befriended a girl, giving her a chance to take unforgettable wildlife footage. And this spotted cat even took care of the guy. It probably thought the sun was shining in his eyes, so it pulled down his cap with its paw. Would you like to be with these fast predators in one SUV on safari? Let me know in the comments. Tiger But you're not going to have that kind of fun with these creatures. Tigers are not as kind and harmless as cheetahs. They're extremely dangerous. And they don't like tourists. This tiger decided to teach them a lesson. It approached the car and bit the wheel. You can hear the tiger flattened it. This once again speaks of the incredible jaws of this predator. And this tiger didn't attack anyone. It just decided to scare the tourists and make them uncomfortable. They drove into its territory, and the huge cat showed that they were not welcome here. It began to gradually push the people, and they had to back up. At any second, the tiger could have accelerated and jumped on people, injuring them. But fortunately, it didn't do it. However, the same cannot be said about this video. The people were traveling through a wildlife park. A white car stops, and a girl gets out of it. It was a fatal mistake. Never do that in wild places, because this can happen. A tiger ran out of the thicket and grabbed the girl with a sharp movement and then took her away with it. A man and woman jumped out of the car and ran to help. It's all right, as the park staff said, the girl was rescued from a tiger. Don't underestimate the agility, power, and speed of these striped cats. Also, don't underestimate their camouflage. On this unusual safari, humans encountered a tiger. Can't you see it? Well, in the meantime, it's very close. The tiger hides spectacularly in the grass, suddenly shows up and swoops at the man. The predator was chased away with loud shots in the air. No one died, but it was scary. Not many animals dislike safaris as much as tigers, but elephants are definitely one of them. In general, these animals are quite calm and peaceful, but only if no one gets on their nerves and doesn't enter their territory. Then elephants show themselves in all their glory. It'll be lucky if the giant just scares tourists by walking past them as it happened here. The elephant, together with its congeners, came very close to people. It was literally at arm's length from a man, but didn't harm him. And this elephant just walked along the road near the car. In such cases, elephants often attack cars, mercilessly smashing them. But this time it was okay. But this elephant is more determined. Not only it stood by the car, but also rubbed its trunk and tusks against it. This was its first and last warning. The tourists understood everything and left at the first opportunity. In this footage, the real action unfolds. The elephant runs at the tourists, and they back up in a hurry. They scream, trying to scare the elephant, and it works! Altogether, they manage to avoid an attack by the giant, which could have been very unpleasant. It usually looks something like this. The tourists drove into the elephant's territory, and the lead male decided to chase them away. It ran to the car and started pushing it furiously. The camera shakes, nothing much is visible, but later it becomes clear what exactly the elephant did. The tourists from the car behind filmed it turning the car around. And now look at the damage it did. The left side is torn to shreds. It feels like a cardboard car. It's incredible how powerful elephants are. Sometimes not a body of the car, but just a tire gets it. This elephant sprinted, took aim and hit the tire with its tusk, and it immediately flattened. The elephant moved the car a little, showing the tourists their way back and left. By the way, you can run into elephants even in the water, like some hippos. And don't think that in the water elephants are safe for humans. These tourists made sure that this is not the case. The elephant didn't like being gawked at and disturbed from resting. It took off and attacked the boat. It hit it a couple of times with its small tusks. Camel How can an encounter with a camel on safari be frightening? After all, these animals are not as powerful as elephants. That's true, but in fact, these animals are not harmless at all and even dangerous for people. Especially if a whole herd of camels runs at a car. The author of this video took some frightening footage. It seems that some camel is about to hit the car and hurt someone, but it didn't happen. 
And these tourists saw a curious camel. It tried to poke its head into the car and find something tasty, but the tourists came to it without treats. Giraffes do the same. It's better to close the windows when you see these animals because something similar can happen. The giraffe brazenly poked its head into the car and tasted a treat from people. But that's not all. While the giraffe was distracting people, a zebra was trying to get into the car from the other side. It's not every day you see something like that. Maybe they were Melman and Marty from Madagascar. In general, animals on safari often try to get into the cars of tourists. This lion was very persistent. It tried to get inside in different ways. It bit the mirror, it stroked the window with its paws, but it failed. I'm sure it was creepy for those tourists, but it was much safer for the guys from this video. They drove up to a lion pride and stopped. The lioness went to see what was wrong and easily opened the back door. Only the cameraman's reaction saved everyone from tragedy. This video is yet another example of why you should make sure to lock your car doors in the wild. Giraffe Giraffes are not only able to beg for treats from tourists by poking their heads into the car. If you make these animals angry, they're no less scary than elephants or lions. This giraffe didn't like something, and it decided to teach the tourists who had entered its territory a lesson. It chased them, and they fled. But the giraffe wasn't far behind. The speed of these tall giants can reach 37 miles per hour, so they can easily catch up with any transport in difficult terrain. And so it happened. But the giraffe didn't attack anyone. It just turned around and chased the tourists again. Soon it left them alone. Gorilla Safaris come in many forms. In this case, it was a walking tour to the habitat of fearsome gorillas. People didn't expect that the encounter would be so close, but they did everything right. They sat down, lowered their heads, and didn't look at the powerful primate. This is exactly what you should do when you encounter a gorilla. It'll realize that people are not a threat and do not claim anything and will simply walk away. But even such wild and ferocious animals sometimes have to cool off a bit and ask people for help. Have you often had to help a cat that lives in your home? Maybe your pet was getting into the wrong place and you had to get it out of there. Or maybe your pet got tangled up in something. Generally speaking, there's nothing surprising about helping a domestic cat, but what about helping a very large and dangerous cat? This video was shot in India. We see a leopard that's trapped. It's stuck with its head in a canister. Apparently, the predator was so thirsty that it jumped on the first available can of water and was so carried away that it almost got there itself. The poor fellow couldn't get out by its own. By some miracle, it blindly made its way to the village and, as best as it could, began to ask people for help. They had to act quickly as the leopard was about to suffocate. The locals called the vets who decided to put the cat to sleep so that the rescue operation could be successful. So they did. They injected sedative into the leopard, removed the canister, and took the still sleeping predator far away from the village, where it soon regained consciousness. Squirrel What is an animal to do if it cannot find water in the wild? If you ask me, there are two options. Either keep looking until the end or ask a human for help. This enterprising squirrel chose the second option and became an internet star. The footage was filmed a couple of years ago in India by a forest service employee. The clever squirrel found humans, saw their bottle of water, and began to stand on its hind legs, begging for water. It's amazing that it knew it was the water bottle in the man's hand and that it thought of such a thing in the first place. The squirrel got some water, the guy gave it to the animal, and the bottle was drained to the bottom though a lot of water was spilled on the ground. Although the video is amazing, it reveals a not very good point. It's a shame that the animal lives in conditions where there's no way for it to find clean water. Dolphin Everyone's seen videos and pictures of whales being washed ashore and stranded there. What about a dolphin stranded on the shore? There is such a thing. Last year, a man named Leon became a hero when he helped rescue a dolphin stranded on the shore in Helston, UK. It's surprising that the dolphin was there at all because the nearest sea is as much as five kilometers from the place where Leon met the two-meter-long creature. The dolphin looked disoriented and exhausted. It was obviously lost and just rolled over from side to side trying to get some help. Leon named his new acquaintance Oscar and called a marine rescue service. The volunteers put Oscar on a stretcher. All the time on the way, they watered him with water from a bucket so that the animal's skin wouldn't dry out. 
Specialists told them that the area where Oscar got stuck was dangerous for dolphins and that it wasn't the only animal that ended up here. Fortunately, it was lucky. Soon, Oscar returned home to the sea, where it could swim on its own. It's touching when large animals ask people for help themselves, but it's even more touching when baby animals or their mothers ask for help. Stay tuned to see these incredible moments and find out how the rescue of a killer whale and a big shark ended. Young Deer When a North Carolina woman named Amber went out for a morning run, she never imagined she'd capture some of the most unusual footage of her life. As Amber was jogging, a baby deer ran out to her, yelping as if to let her know it was in trouble. The fawn started rubbing up against Amber and could barely stand on its feet. It felt like it was only a few days old. Amber knew that the female deer often left their babies alone when they went out in search of food, so she assumed the mother would return to the fawn soon. Amber left the fawn and went home. However, she couldn't calm down at home because she was sure she'd done the wrong thing not taking the fawn with her. So Amber went looking for the fawn and, with the help of her son, found it. The female still wasn't around. It was clear that the baby had been orphaned. Amber took the little hungry fawn home where she fed and warmed it. The fawn spent the night at Amber and her son's house, and the next morning it was taken to the animal center. There the baby, named Scout, grew stronger and made friends. Baby Elephant – All mothers are the same. Whether we're talking about human mothers or animal mothers, they all want the same thing – for their child to be safe. But there are always problems in the animal world. This mother elephant came to humans for help. It was trumpeting and howling. It obviously wasn't feeling good. But why? The elephant mother took the people to some hole in which the baby had fallen. The baby elephant was gradually drowning in the swamp and couldn't get out on its own. It was deep and the walls were slipping too much. It's hard to imagine what its mother was going through in these moments, but the ending to this story is a good one. Rescuers with an excavator were called to the scene. They freed the elephant from captivity and the pair of creatures with the trunks reunited. Foal The man was walking along the road when he noticed a horse acting strangely near an old wooden bridge. As soon as the man got closer, he realized that the foal was stuck in the planks on the bridge. Its thin hooves had fallen through the planks. There were no other options. The foal had to be rescued immediately. The man had no tools with him, so he tried to lift the foal over the planks and push it to the bridge. The first attempt was unsuccessful, as the planks were worn down and threatened to fail. But the man soon succeeded in rescuing the foal. He took the foal in his arms and carried it to safety, where its mother joined it. Killer Whale Orcas are formidable predators and huge monsters that fear no one at sea. Not without reason, they're called killer whales because they really hunt huge whales, not in the least bit afraid of them. But sometimes even such killers need help. The orca got so carried away by hunting that it jumped out of the water and landed straight on the sharp rocks. The predator got stuck and couldn't get out on its own. This in itself is terrible, but the orca was also without water and risked suffocating. Time passed, the killer whale lay there and tried to get help as best it could. It was only thanks to the occasional passing person that it was rescued. Hugh Lorette was walking along the shore when he heard strange noises. He came closer and saw a panic-stricken killer whale. There was no way it could get out of the stone captivity. He rushed to the orca for help, and within minutes the volunteers gathered at the orca. They poured water on the poor creature, giving it a chance to survive until the rescuers arrived. The rescue team arrived after 11 hours, but luckily all ended well. The rescue operation was successful. The careless killer whale was rescued from the trouble and released into the wild. Yes! Oh my god. Bird. Some animals get stuck in rocks, while others get stuck on metal. The bird in the following video is one of those. Nelson Wilson heard the bird chirping and knew it was in trouble. When he approached it up close, he realized that the bird was flapping and trying to take off, but it wasn't able to do so. Its legs were frozen to the metal structure, and it was being held hostage. The feathered creature had no chance of saving itself, but luckily Nelson was not indifferent. At first, the man didn't know what to do and didn't understand how to help the bird so as not to harm it, and then he decided to pull a simple but ingenious trick. The man gently pressed the bird against his palm 
and began blowing warm air on its legs to melt the ice. He kept doing this, and after a while, the bird was able to move. Soon the feathered creature was free. That's how an ordinary passerby saved an animal in distress. Would you have helped the bird if you were Nelson? Shark It's been said that large animals are characterized by calmness. The following video confirms this. In this footage, taken by fishermen off the coast of Sydney, we see a whale shark swimming casually toward a boat. Although the whale shark is the largest fish in the world, it's not predatory and is quite harmless to humans. But the fishermen were still a little scared. However, they quickly came to their senses when they saw the thick rope wrapped around the body of the giant. Apparently, the whale shark swam to the people on purpose, realizing that it couldn't get out of the trap by itself. Of course, the fishermen couldn't leave the shark in distress and helped it. They pulled it closer to the boat and then carefully cut the rope, freeing the shark. The shark didn't twitch, waited until it was helped, and when the rope was removed, it swam away from the fishermen. Told you that big animals are very calm. That's all, guys. Have you ever helped animals? Share your stories in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.